Hello, church family, and uh, welcome to our home. Uh, you're in your home, and we're in our home, and we're meeting today home to home. Um, it's uh, great to know that Chris is sitting over there, and, and she's got the cat on her lap, and uh, the dog is by her side, and uh, I hope that you are enjoying your time with your family and with your animals, and that we can be together by video is just amazing. Even uh, when we wanted to do live stream, uh, we are not able to today because of uh, the Southern California Conference asking us not to go to the church at all. So just know that uh, there is nothing going on for our congregation at the church, and uh, we'll let you know when we can get back together again there. Uh, grateful that so far there are very few incidences of this virus touching close to us here in Santa Clarita, although I do have friends who have already lost family members. Uh, shout out to Terry Johnson who lost his cousin. Uh, just very sad that this is going on and we are worried, I guess you could say, that this will affect many more Americans in the days ahead. Thank you for staying home. Thank you for uh, being uh, compassionate to your fellow Americans by, by being uh, in your homes and by washing your hands and social distancing. Uh, when we walked the dog this morning, uh, there are many people in our community out doing that, and that is definitely something you can do. It's a great day, it's beautiful, it's sunny outside. Take the opportunity to get some fresh air and uh, to, to be where uh, God's sunshine kills all bad viruses. <laughs> well, let's have a prayer together, and uh, then I will share something from the, the book of John. Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you that we can meet on the internet. And we just ask that your Holy Spirit will be in evidence as we are together around your word. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. The series that we are endeavoring to continue today by video has to do with some of the very special doctrines, if you like, of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Uh, last week we talked about Sabbath. And today I wanted to continue this discussion, this opportunity with you uh, by looking at the idea that Jesus has given us in a very special way uh, that, we could, that we call the Second Coming. So if you open your Bibles and or uh, look at your phone in some other way, uh, which is maybe what some of you will do, then you can turn to John chapter 14. Several things that I would love to point out. One is that Jesus is on the way to the cross. He knows what's going to happen. He knows that there is going to be a lot of pain and agony for himself and for his disciples. And so he tries to front load this experience with some words of comfort and with words that he tells us will be helpful as his disciples while we wait in this separation time. So I would say the first thing to remember that he lets us know is that there will be pain, but there will also be joy in the midst of pain. Uh, he's wanting to comfort us even in the midst of this pandemic with those same words. Second thing is God has a plan. In fact, as I've said several times before, uh, I think Jesus is that plan. So uh, thinking about Jesus, listening to Jesus, watching Jesus, staying focused on Jesus means that we are part of the plan that he has for this planet and that uh, we can bob and weave and make any move that we need to make so long as we are watching him and listening to him. Jesus comforts his disciples on his first trip to planet Earth in John chapter 14 by saying, I'm going away. Now those, those are 
uh, not very comforting words in some ways, uh, certainly wasn't to his disciples then, and if we had been with that group, I'm sure we would not have been comforted by that opening. But the next words are what he said to them, which may have been somewhat confusing, uh, but it's the the words that, that ca- cause us to call ourselves Adventists. <laughs> he says, I'm going to come back. I, I, I came once, I'm going to come back again, and I'm going to take you to the place where I am going. I'm going to prepare a place, and I'm going to take you to that place, and you will be with me, and you will be with my Father forever and ever. Jesus accepted his mission. Uh, in, in many respects, here we find ourselves in the midst of this pandemic. We, we are being asked to accept our mission in the midst of trying times. Uh, this is why I said to begin with that we can have the joy of the Lord. We can have the same joy that Jesus had in the midst of knowing that he was about to go through the most painful time in his life. He had that joy in his heart and he wanted to spread that to his disciples. So we can know that from what he says here in John 14, that he knows what's coming. He knows uh, that he wants to come back. Uh, we, we know too from scripture that he says that the Father is the one who knows when it will be the right time. And we have been living in anticipation the, our entire lives, uh, the lives of our parents and grandparents and, and all the Christians before us. We have been living, waiting for the time when Jesus will say, uh, okay, yeah, I gotta go. And the Father will say, okay, go get him. And he'll come back to earth for the second time. Until then, Jesus builds up his disciples. He builds us up today by saying, Rely on the Holy Spirit. Rely on him to bring to your remembrance the things that I have said. uh, The things that will make this separation time bearable. So today, what we can do is we can spend time in the Word, spend time looking at the the teachings of Jesus. Uh, Melody made that video that you can see on the front page here uh, so that our kids can also learn some of the teachings of Jesus. If, if they have not had that chance up until now, please know that this is a great opportunity to spend time with your kids, making sure that they have heard the teachings of Jesus. We, as adults, we live with the expectation that soon and very soon, we hope, Jesus will come back again and that he will step into into history and that he will help us go through whatever it is that we have to go through up until that moment, but that he'll step back into history and that he will come and get us. Uh, In this moment, it means a whole lot more to me than it did even a week ago to know that as we are uh, stuck in our homes, as we are restricted in our movements, as we are watching the news and uh, what is being reported is is the painful stuff that our friends and families and, and, and fellow citizens are going through and also uh, the people in Italy, for example, are going through. We, we can have trust in our hearts. We can have trust in our hearts to uh, know that Jesus' words then and now are the same. Trust in me. Believe also in me, because I'm going to go to the Father, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to bring you to where I am. Uh, I'm glad to be called an Adventist, and I actually look for other Adventists who may not be of the same denomination that I am, and I'm finding that there are many people who are very, very much focused on Jesus and looking forward to what he is going to do next. Uh, So as a Seventh-day Adventist, uh, I believe that we have an incredible message of of hope and joy that we can share with our neighbors, particularly at this time, to help them to be focused on the one who went away and is coming back again. I'm taking taking solace in this. I hope that you will too. Uh, 
we are resting, we are resting quietly here at home uh, with our animals. Uh, I know that you will too, and please keep in contact uh, with your friends via social media, calling. Let everyone know that even though we have to be separated, it will be just a little while, and then we'll be back together again. I'm going to ask that uh, you remember your fellow church members who are suffering with uh, diseases and or uh, problems in their lives, that you will remember them in your prayers. Uh, have some good news from several individuals this week, uh, some who uh, had their medications adjusted, and as they had their medications adjusted, their lives have changed for the better. And I just want to give a shout out to them uh, as they are joyfully feeling better. Uh, let's do what we can. Let's keep together. Let's pray for one another on a daily basis. Bow your heads with me as we pray now. Father, thank you for this opportunity. May you be lifted up in our lives. May we bring glory to you today and always. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Until we meet again, God bless.